I thought it was amazing. Um, I being away from the US for the past two years to get a refresher and just to see that rail is increasing and rail ridership is growing. Um, I think it was also a little bit shocking just to see the state of conditions of some of the bridges and just it was again an eye-opener that we need to invest money. Um, but it's great and heartening to see him, people like Stephen, leading Amtrak and trying to drive politicians to improve the Northeast Corridor and just keep us connected and keep Americans moving. So I thought it was great. Yeah, it was, uh, it was very interesting, thanks. I um, found the sort of parallels with the, obviously the HS2 uh, considerations interesting with, with, with the need for the second line in the, um, in the Northeast Corridor. And I also found um, it particularly interesting to understand about the structure of the industry over there and, and the sort of ownership model really, and, and how different it is from here. I think we're really interested to see the international comparison between what happens here and what happens over there. And it reminded me, I'm fairly sure in the early 80s, he went and gave testified in front of the Senate Committee on Transport, no doubt about things like sectionalization. And somewhere at home, we, had a, we have a, a flag that the then president, I think she was from Texas, gave to him for turning up. And I tried to find it before I came, but I couldn't. But no, Dad would have enjoyed the international aspects, very similar sort of problems that, that he, has, he, he faced, and very interesting to see that sectorization is in a sense being adopted in America only 30 years after we did it here. I was fascinated by it. Um, I mean, the old saw is divided only by a common language. But I was just talking to Steve Agg and saying, really, when you get down to it, at least our two houses of parliament are working in the same legislation. Um, when you get down to the regional and local governance structures, they're completely different. Um, one of the things, if we'd had far longer for discussion, I'd have been interested in, in exploring, is how a national corporation like Amtrak interfaces with these very substantial commuter railroads in the, uh, the major cities that they're serving. And, you know, he could really do a series of lectures rather than a single lecture of tonight.